Brothers and sisters, I have a question for you. What do you wish for? What do you wish for? What do you desire? What do you anticipate to reach? What do you anticipate to reach, brothers and sisters? What is it that you yearn for? What is it that you long for? What is it? Ask yourself that question. What is your ambition? Do you wish for a beautiful wife or a gorgeous husband who has got popularity, who everyone looks up to so that you can show off with him or her? Do you desire a beautiful mansion and lots of money? Is that what you desire? Or do you anticipate to reach a firm, lifelong career? Do you anticipate that? Do you yearn for luxurious dwelling, a land, or probably one day to buy an island of your own? Do you long for, do you long for fame and popularity and fortune? What do you yearn for? What do you desire? What do you desire? Do you miss having all of that? If this is what you are desiring and anticipating for and yearning for, then my dear brother or sister, you have been deceived. You have been deceived by this world, all of its fortune, all of its beauty. Because this beauty which you see in front of you, as Allah describes it in the Quran, is like a flower that grows in the ground. It gets watered from the rain and then it blossoms. It has a nice fragrance and it looks beautiful. But then it only lasts for about a month or less. And then suddenly it starts to wither away. And you have no more attention towards it. As if it never had existed before and become soil and dirt. Allah says in the Quran, I'lamu, know, understand, acknowledge, learn this, understand this, always be conscious about that. I'lamu, annama al-hayatu dunya la'ibun wa lahu wa zinatun wa tafakhurun baynakum wa takathurun fil amwali wal awlaad. Know that this worldly life, al-hayatu dunya, is only playing لعب. له entertaining yourselves زينة decoration تفاخر بينكم challenging each other who can get the best house who can get the fastest cars who can look the most beautiful who can have more money تفاخر بينكم Allah says and this is what the world of life is about don't the kuffar do that trying to rise in the high levels and positions in work Yes, they do. And everyone tries to beat everyone else in becoming or reaching that high seat. Yes, it is a life of challenge, challenging each other. And people love in this life to have lots of money, lots of children in order to have a strong back. Like that flower which I gave. An example to this world is like that it blossoms for a little bit and then it fades away brothers and sisters if this is what you are yearning for longing for missing and being anxious about I'm sad to say brothers and sisters that you are in a very great loss because when you die and we all shall die you're just going to have to leave it all behind you subhanallah all of that we're going to leave it behind us Yes, it's not going to be buried with you. The only thing that you will be taking is two things. Your family and your actions to the graveyard. But your family will go back and your actions will stay with you. And then it will be an ugly being if your actions are bad to keep you in that bad company until the day of judgment or it will be a most handsome person to sit with you and keep you company until the day of judgment. So what do you yearn for and desire? 